Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to launch an EC2 instance and how to work on the security groups as well as what are the inbound and outbound rules. So let's start. So security groups, it act as a fi virtual firewall to control the incoming and outgoing traffic from our EC2 instances. In the inbound rules, we define uh, what kind of traffic incoming traffic will be as well as in the outbound rules we control the outgoing traffic from our EC2 instance. So whenever we launch an instance we can specify one or more security groups else it will use the default security group that comes under the launch wizard. We can also modify the rules for a security group at any time and whatever the new rules we are modifying it will get automatically applied to our EC2 instance. When we launch an instance in a VPC that is a virtual private cloud, we must specify a security group that's created that VPC. After launching an instance, we can also change its security groups whenever required. So security groups are associated with the network interfaces. So this was all about basics about the security groups. So it acts as a virtual firewall to control the incoming and outgoing traffic. It is having inbound and outbound rules that I will show you during the practical lab session. So talking about the rules, so rules of security group control, the inbound traffic that allowed to reach the instances and are associated with the security group. So each rule is associated with it, whether it's inbound or whether it's outbound, it's associated with a security group. So rules also control the outbound traffic that allows to lead them so by, by default, the security groups allow all outbound traffic. Security groups are always permissive. So we cannot create rules that deny access. We will always give permission that allow access to our EC2 instance. Security group rules enables us to filter the traffic based upon protocols, whether it's a TCP, UDP, or ICMP, as well as based upon the port number. We can also add or remove rules anytime from the security group. So while naming a security group, these are the few rules that we need to follow, like name for the security group. It can have 255 character max, and we can use uh, small a to small z, capital A to capital Z, or zero to nine spaces. So the special characters that we can use and what are the protocols that we use is TCP, UDP, and ICMP, and the port ranges. We can also define a single port, whether it's a port number uh, 1433 or 3399, whatever port number it is, or any particular range, like 3000 to 4000 port numbers. So we can define in the terms of range as well as a single port number also. We can also define uh, ICMP type like eight and eco request, we can define the ICMP type and the code. So whenever we are defining the source of the destination, like source for the inbound rules and the destination outbound rules for the traffic, we can either define a single IPv4 address or IPv6, or we can define a range in CIDR block that we can define. There are many other options also there. While creating the rule, I will show you what are the other options that we are getting. And there is an optional description is there. It's always better to add a description for the rule that what this particular rule does to the EC2 instance, what are the like a highlighting rule or feature that is being added to this particular rule in the security group in the description section, even though if it is optional. So what are the use cases where we use this security groups? We use in web server rules like HTTP uh, port number 80, HTTPS, uh, database server rules like 1433 for SQL uh, or, we, or maybe MySQL port or anything related to the database. Rules to connect to the instances, which IP address is being allowed and which not allowed, which range of IP address is being allowed. So we can also define and rules to connect instance from an instance with the same security group, uh, the different security groups, rules for the ping and ICMP. What are the DNS server rules? What are the ports that are being allowed? and VPC pairing rules, how they can communicate to each other, whether it's allowed or not. So all those things we can define in the security groups. We can use in all the use cases, basically. 
So in today's lab, uh, I will show you how to launch an EC2 instance. I will be using a previous lab material, like using a user uh, data that I will be inserting while launching the EC2 instance. So you can just copy that from my previous videos and uh, we will create a security group and we can also define, we will be defining the inbound and outbound rules and we will see how we can access the website from the web server that we will be creating while launching the EC2 instance. So let's move on to the console. So first of all, we will go to the EC2 dashboard. We can, you can choose the region, whatever region you want. Then you can see over here, launch an instance. Okay, so we can define over here my EC2 SG. That is the name of my EC2 instance. And I can filter over here. You can just go through my previous video if you have any doubt. So I'm just going quickly from here. So T2 micro. So we can. I can create a key pair over here. My, so I'm just creating in order to uh, do the SSH also later on if I want to use it, or we can skip this part. No issues. Is it to SG? Create a key pair. It's getting downloaded. Okay. Uh, network settings you can see allow ssh so i'm just keeping this allow ssh that is a by default one so later on we will add the inbound and outbound rules to it and i'll just click the advance here use the data i will copy so let's take this one and paste it that's all so I will just, so I'm launching a free tier. I've taken a free tier Amazon machine image. You can see Linux two kernel eligible for the free tier. Okay, let's go back, launch the instance. It'll take some time. So you can see, uh, I didn't change the security group name. I could have chosen over here a security group. So you can see it is still loading. So you can see over here, this AC2 instance has been created and it is running. So this EC2 instance I have created over here Check over here. Something is wrong today with this. Okay, so now you can see over here, my EC2 instance is running. So while creating, I did create any security group and all. So you can see in the security, this is a security group using the launch wizard six, as I told you, I didn't define it. So by default, it is coming with the rules and all. So you can see uh, inbound rule that is being defined. Now, let me go to the instances over here again. Let me launch another instance. 
So my EC2 SG2. So I can choose over here this one and instance type. Let me take my EC2 SG and here I can go to this edit. This is a VPC. So you can see create a security group. So we can choose over here uh, existing security group. You can see so many security groups have been created from my previous ones. So create a security group. I can define the name over here. So my EC2, my EC2, this one we skipped in the previous one, my EC2 security group, SG. So you can also uh, put some description as I told you. We can write over here web server and by default there is SSH only. So I'm not adding any security group rule. So I will come back and I'll show you how we can change that one in the advance. I can go over here. So I'll just put my user data and then launch the instance. Now you can see over here and just refresh it will take some time so this is already running this is our previous one ec2 instance now you can see over here this is a as i told you this is a by default you can see the security group and you can see over here uh, what are the inbound rules only port number 22 is there so let's do one thing. Let's check our previous one. Let me open the public one over here. So it will give you a timeout because we don't have an inbound rule for port number 80. So I will just go to my security group over here. You can see over here inbound rules. So I can click over here, edit the inbound rules. So add rule, TCP, port number 80, and I can define all. And I can click, you can add some description also in the rule, and I'll click save. So that was for my, you can see there's a timeout, as soon as I entered the security group, I changed the inbound rule. So immediately I get the output from that particular machine. So as I said, you we can change the security group rules, inbound rules and output rules anytime. And it is immediately applied to our EC2 instance. Now coming back to my instances. So this was a second instance. You can see over here, what is the security group name? You can see my EC2. SG, that is a security group name. So if you click over here, now you can see we don't have uh, the HTTP one. So I will just go back to my EC2 instance, the second one. So I will copy this one and paste it over here. So for this one also, we will get the timeout because we haven't defined the HTTP rule for this inbound rule at port number 80 we haven't defined it our previous instance is working fine our web server so we just wait for this to time out you can see so whenever as i said in your previous videos also if you're getting it this site cannot be reached this means there is some issue with the security group not with the instance if your instance are running up but if you're not getting the response like this this means there is some issues uh, with the inbound and outbound rules with the uh, security groups. So now coming back to this, the second instance, as I mentioned previously, so in this one, I'm having my, the security group that I created. You can see my is to SG that a security group. Now I will just go to this one. You 
can see there is only TCP. Now you can see this is my second instance. So the currently the security group that is being my EC2 SG in which I will show you again in which I don't have the TCP. So I was getting the timeout. Okay, there's no inbound rule for this. Now what I will do over here, instead of changing the inbound rules and all, I'll just go to my EC2 instance, the second one. So I will just change it security group actions, uh, security, we can change the security group. And I can just remove this one. And save it. So we need to add over here one security group. So that one, I think it was the launch wizard six Add the security group and save it. So the security group from my previous instance, the first instance I have added to the second one. Now, if I refresh this one, it should work. You can see it started working. So I hope you understand like with that EC2 instance, in that instance, whatever the security group I had added over here, you can see it was launch wizard. In the security, you can see over here that was launch wizard six that I have added to my first EC2 instance. And there was a inbound rule for this port number 80. Now the same security group I have attached to my second EC2 instance, rather than having my own default that I created. So I have just changed the security group. You can see launch with a six. Now as soon as I change again the security group, I'll just remove this one and I will add my existing one in which there is no HTTP port 80 inbound rule. So save. Sorry, add security group and save. So you can see it will stop working. So before it stops working, let's go to some uh, security groups over here. Let me go to the instances, the first one. Uh, if you go to the security, this one, you can see over here, edit inbound rules. We can define these are things, HTTP, POP3, IMAP, TCP, UDP, and we can define the protocol, what protocol we are using. HTTPS, you can see 443, then we can define the range. Either these are the CIDR blocks, all then uh, 8, 16, 24, then this is IPv6. Even we can also define which security groups are being allowed. So we can also use that particular one, or we can also use the prefix if I use a launch wizard six. So the inbound rule for HTTP, uh, TCP, uh, we can define over here, HTTP port 80, and we can define over here the launch wizard six and all. So these is, this is how we can define the different rules. If you want to delete something, you can delete from here and save the rules. So you can see this instance is not working. Now, if you go to the second instance again, so I will just modify his security and then I will just go to this one, security group edit in one rules, add rule, HTTP, port 80, and all save rules. Now, if I refresh, it's not working. So in today's video, you saw how we can work on various security groups and we can, how we can access, how we can access the different ports and all. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.